And here we are talking about the mercy of God. Um, there's very little a man can achieve without the mercy of God. Psalm 127 verse 1, Psalm 127 verse 1 makes it clear. Unless the Lord builds the house, the labor in vain that builds it, that means we can't build. Unless you obtain mercy from Him. It says, Unless the Lord keeps the city, the wicked but in vain that keep it. It doesn't matter how many bodyguards you have. Unless God have mercy on you. You can have bodyguards against arm robbers. Bodyguards against um, hired killers, etc., etc. There's no bodyguards against coronavirus. There are certain things that it takes the mercy of God to preserve you. He heads of states can catch coronavirus, mm -hmm. then you will know it takes the mercy of God to preserve ordinary messengers. No matter how much you labor, you can't succeed without the mercy of God. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 to 7. First Corinthians 3, 6 to 7 says, Paul may plant, and follow me water. It is God that gives the increase. And if God does not give the increase, then it means that uh, um, we'll be laboring in vain. The best of students can fail exams. Not because they did not study, not because they did not understand, but <laughs> at least from my personal experience, I know you could get into the exam hall and just forget everything you have planned. You can blank out. That happened to me before. I told the story of I, I, one of the best courses that I know that other students come to me to, I mean, for explanations. I got into the exam hall. We want to answer five questions out of eight. I read question one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I couldn't understand a single one. And I was going to get up and leave because if, after all, it will fail, they asked you to come and do a receipt. But an unseen hand kept me down. It wasn't a Christian day. And I'm talking of. Take 1965 also. Mm -hmm. Sit down. So I sat down. After about 15 minutes, I read the questions again and I, I know this one. I know this one. And I found that I could answer all eight. Even with the limited time I had, I had left, I still was able to answer all eight instead of ordinary five. But students can fail, not because they didn't study. Farmers can have no harvest, not because they didn't plant. A great fisherman like Peter who fish all night and catch nothing. Unless God opens the door for you, you can labor in vain. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. Revelation 3, verse 7 says, He's the one who has the keys of the deep. He can open, and then no man will be able to shut. And when he shuts, then no man can open. The Bible tells us that when God saw that Leah was hated and Rachel was loved, he shut the womb. Of Rachel. He took his mercy to remain.
remember this woman and open the room the gate. That's why wise people, when they need help, cry to God for mercy. Mercy. Mm. In Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52, Mark 10, 46 to 52, that was the cry of Bartimaeus. Just have mercy on me. In Luke chapter 17, from verse 11 to 19, Luke 17, 11 to 19, the ten lepers saw him. It's too far away because they were not allowed to come too close. And they cried. And the cry was, Just have mercy on us. And they were cleansed. In Matthew 15, from verse 21 to 28, Matthew 15, verse 21 to 28, that woman, who was not of the nation of Israel, came to Jesus Christ, and all she was asking for was mercy. My daughter is grievously vexed of the devil. Have mercy on me. When Jesus said, I'm not sent but unto the house of uh, Israel, he said, I know. Mm -hmm. I know I don't qualify. All I'm asking for is mercy. Because as this passage has told us, even though God is rich in mercy, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, one of, his, of the ways he measures his wealth is a mercy. Ephesians 2, 4. Even though first Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34, first Chronicles 16, verse 34 says, his mercy endure it forever. Not that he's just rich in mercy. The mercy of, of God endures forever. If we, as we see, right? He still shows his sovereignty on deciding who to be merciful unto. Psalm 115, verse 3. Psalm 115, verse 3 says, Our God is in the heavens, he does as he pleases. However, there is a way you could get him to be merciful to you. There is a way you could be sure that you will be the one who will obtain mercy from him. What is that way? Well, two ways really. One, Matthew chapter 5, verse 7. Matthew 5, 7 says, Blessed are the merciful. For they shall obtain mercy. If you show mercy to others, you will get mercy from God. As you show mercy to others, we're not just talking about you going about distributing money to beggars. You cannot say you have mercy on me when you see me going to hell and keep quiet about it and let me go on. That is why. When we see someone who is doing something that we know is going to lead to destruction, we keep crying out of mercy. Because blessed are the merciful, they will obtain mercy. The other way by which you can be sure you will get his mercy is according to Psalm 103, from verse 13 to 14. Psalm 103, verse 13 to 14. He says, as a father pities his son, so the Lord pities those who fear him. Mm. You don't fear God, don't expect his mercy. You fear him, you will be one of those that you will be merciful unto. Mm -hmm. If God discovers that this fellow does not want to offend me. He doesn't treat me with uh, a careless attitude. If he sees trouble coming towards that fellow, he will show mercy. Tell trouble, no, 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 this one fears me. You can't go and touch him. 
show a message to others, you will obtain mercy. You fear God, you will obtain mercy. Prayer this morning, like we have been praying, particularly since the pandemic came. God, have mercy on me. Give me the grace to be merciful to others. Give me the grace to fear you. May God answer our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Like <laughs>
competition Thank you. 